welcome. Lei Ho, Yi Hao, it's a pleasure to be here with you. We would like to thank you, the organizer, for inviting us. And it's also a big honor, honor to speak after Professor <laughs> Liu Ringju. And uh, we would like today to speak uh, about uh, new Polish graphic design. But firstly, maybe we start from the history. Yeah, uh, we would like to back to the 20th century, to the beginning, oh, the middle of the century. Uh, because uh, maybe some of you knew Polish design uh, from posters. Posters is a trademark of, po of Polish graphic design. And uh, it developed in 50s and 60s in Poland. Uh, this is the street from the 60s, so you can have a look how it was. Gray, rather gray. And the posters were very colorful. Um, you cannot see the colors on this picture, but you can see the people, rather tired. And the posters were elements very vivid on the streets. It was kind of art on the street. Um, you can spot it that this is an exhibition on a uh, railway, railway station presenting posters uh, about Poland, inviting foreigners to Poland. So you, you can see uh, some pictures like this. Which it's is, advertising poster, in fact. Yeah, <laughs> it is a poster which invites foreigners to visit Poland for different topics like hunting. Why not? I think it's uh, quite funny and also somehow very uh, easy to understand um, the approach which is uh, important for Polish school of poster, which was born in the uh, uh, 50s and 60s. And uh, it's uh, quite funny because some artists met after Second World War in 1945 and one of them said to another the, the sentence you, or the question you, you see above. Uh, you know what? I have a cool idea. We will make movie posters. And that time it was uh something incredible and, uh, and something very strange because artists were, were artists and designers were designers. And uh, that two artists are very good and very keen uh, in uh, drawings and, and paintings. So it was quite an unusual idea. Uh, quite uh, odd even because artists should do, work, uh, should do art. Uh, and uh, commercial, uh, commercial art was not valuable at all. Uh, especially for movies. So Tomaszewski said, what, we'll make movie posters, we, the real artist? It's impossible. So the heroes of Polish poster school. Yes, but of course uh, it took some years uh, and they start to make uh, movie posters and they start to treat it like an uh, artistic uh, way to express themselves. And uh, this is one of uh, example, I think, good example about the visual uh, language uh, of that period of, of that artist poster by Jan Lenica. Uh, very uh, pictor, very painting, uh, picturesque, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, you can say artistic. Yes, yes. you can say artistic. Because uh, they understand designing a poster not as a commercial work, but as a kind of expression for artists. So, you can have a look, they are great. They are not just selling uh, fuel or, um, or bread, they are... This theater poster for the play uh, named Egg. Egg, yes. This, but that was uh, specific for, for this way of uh, um, Polish graphic design, which is called Polish Poster School. Uh, they designed for films, for movies, for theater plays, uh, also they did propaganda posters because of the 50s and 60s, of course. But they developed their own uh, very original language, uh, very um, metaphorical one, which uh, was not using uh, pictures of uh, actors. This is the, the poster for the movie Vertigo, Vertigo by, yeah. uh, by Hitchcock well-known movie. 
So you cannot see the actors at all, but you can see the impression, what the, the film is about, what the author is thinking about the, the, the film. Um, different uh, ways of expression. Opera uh, poster, Don Juan by yeah. Mozart. By very good uh, de designer, artist, Cieślewicz, he emigrated uh, to France in the uh, 60s and worked for Saint Pompidou and, and galleries and uh, L magazine as well. This is another poster by him for Kafka, uh, The Trial, um, which was exposed on the stage. Uh, but also, maybe not so well known, but sometimes very funny, uh, movies like Czechoslovakian one, Who Wants to Kill the Jesse? Or this one, also for Czechoslovakian uh, comedy. Uh, a little with, bit uh, psychedelic uh, aesthetic. And, and uh, uh, fin de maybe, siècle. Yeah. And other examples, uh, I think, uh, very artistic. You, we, you can see the using of the pen, using of the uh, of uh, drawing, lettering, uh, hand lettering, and uh, the brave, vivid colors, and also unusual uh, on the right, unusual example about uh, using the photography, because uh, usually the artists from the poster, uh, Polish poster school, often use the hand drawings and and paintings. As Here, on this like, like this one, it's poster one, one of the. Uh, well-known and also beautiful examples, uh, Sunset Boulevard, uh, this movie, it's poster for this movie with Gloria Swenson. So, American films in Poland did not have American posters at all, like today. They had original one, like this, which is for, for uh, yes, Japanese another film. another artist and uh, four ghost stories uh, and uh, the poster. Uh, visualizing the idea of uh, ghost stories in the movie. And uh, another important person, Bronisław Zelek, uh, and one of uh, his best posters, uh, typographic poster uh, for the Hitchcock movie, uh, The Birds. So you can see the word uh, ptaki is Polish na na name for the birds. That's right. Um, another one. Another one by Henryk Tomaszewski, who is uh, the, the master, the father, you can say the father of Polish uh, school of poster, for uh, exhibition of uh, Henry Moore, uh, British um, sculptor. And uh, F famous. Film, yeah, yeah, and poster movie for the cabaret, cabaret yeah, the Fly Zaminelli. And, uh, and the not Phantom, so known. Yeah, yeah, Phantom from Morrisville, another uh, great uh, poster artist, we can say, because in uh, general he was a painter, Franciszek Starowiejski. And very good draftsman, which you cannot maybe see here, but uh, the way of uh, making the, uh, the composition is, uh, is totally different from Tomaszewski, uh, which, which uses very simple stroke, uh, a little bit childish, we can say, but also very difficult to imitate. Uh, another another uh, good topic for the poster. We had uh, movie posters and uh, theater and opera posters and al also circus. Circus was uh, one of favorite uh, topics for, for our artists to, uh, to show it uh, on, on that works. Another one, also Bye. for the circus, for another artist, Rosław Szajbo. And uh, for the film, Italian one with uh, Sofia Loren and Anita Ekberg, uh, movie stars by another artist, yeah, the younger one, style, but yes. uh, with an own original style. Um, it's very easy to, um, to show or to, um, to present what was the difference between Polish and Western uh, thinking about posters. Uh, this is the original some, one. Some what was such special in Polish posters? What was so special? Here we have the British uh, poster for that movie with Jane Fonda, Hammer um, production. production. And, and we can show and you this the, is the Polish proposal. The same time, the same, uh, the same movie. So we have here the sense of humor, the, we have here the metaphor. We don't have here the... The woman chick. as an <laughs> object to, to attract the viewer, but 
something which could be funny. And uh, another example from another Barbarella example. with Jane Fonda, I think everyone know. And another <laughs> Polish poster by another artist. Jan Młodorzeniec, also father also of, uh, yeah. of Polish School of Posters. Um, as we said in the title of the uh, of, um, um, presentation, not only a, porter, a poster, uh, of course, um, artists, graphic artists, designers in 60s and 70s designed also cover books, cover magazines, and this is also a um, sample of uh, thinking about cover uh, for the magazine called Te I A, which means you and me. So you can see that every cover, and it was quite a lot of them, is a different, by different artists, uh, with a bit of humor, with a bit of irony, what means you and what means I, what's our relationship between us. Um, and back to the modern times, yes, our times. <laughs> this is how Warsaw <laughs> looks today. So it has changed. And of course, posters are changed. Graphic design has changed in Poland. Uh, there is new environment, there are new institutions, cultural institutions, which uh, had demand uh, and uh, expectations for modern uh, imaginary. And there are some artists who want to be revolutionary uh, against the Polish poster school, we can say, because they are looking for their own visual language. They want to communicate it in their own way. They are perceived themselves more than designers, not the uh, artists. The, here is the example, again, from the theater poster, but you can see it's from the uh, 2009 and, and previous from 2007, as I remember. And this is the same artist. He specializes, specializes uh, in uh, posters for the theaters, the modern ones, like uh, Teatro Zmajtości or uh, Teatr Nowy. They are very experimental and very uh, vanguard theaters. Of course, uh, there are some posters for movies as well, but not as much as in the 60s, because most of the uh, new posters are coming from the US as a format, so just the, the picture of an actor or actress. But some designers are also making posters for the movies, but rather niche, not the Hollywood movies. This is a sample. Uh, of young designers, couple, Jan Nagurska, Jerzy Skakun, who are working also with uh, theatres. Um, very strong messages, sim symbolic language, uh, sometimes very uh, moving image, not only drawing. This is theatre. Uh, uh, that that were uh, uh, before, it were, uh, it were uh, um, movie posters, but this one, is from the series for the, another theater uh, from the different city, also a very modern theater, and they are uh, made a visual identity for them, and also they are consequently build the line of the uh, posters. So this is uh, for the ancient uh, play, uh, for Euripides play, Hecabe, so you can see the metaphor from the ancient Greeks and Rome's uh, iconography but uh, showing in the modern and quite shock way. And another poster is quite uh, also characteristic for them because they are using uh, also visual language which is inherited from the Polish poster school, not, not only uh, photography and, and typography. They are using also uh, the visual language like here for the series of the exhibitions showing the uh, topics from the cinema. So we have the poster from the uh, show, exhibition showing uh, German uh, movies and then kids movie, kino movies and then uh, as you can see uh, American uh, films with the divider uh, putting on, on the center. And um, there is also some uh, off culture like um, uh, independent little clubs which are showing um, movies in informal um, situations, in informal uh, atmosphere. Screening. Yeah, and they are screening, for example, B-movies, like VHS Hell. And uh, they built a collection, I think, over 50 posters from different um, 
different designers, also amateurs, but day one are made by professionals. And it's also uh, made by professional, but it's quite nonchalant and uh, anyone can have impression that it's uh, someone who is amateur. In fact, he's assistant and uh, she's an uh, assistant at Academy of Fine Arts. Uh, but they are treating, that this is a nice topic for designers and for artists to show something horroric and something grotesque and something scarifying sometimes. But there is also uh, a little bit of uh, experimentation in uh, contemporary graphic design. And you can see two posters by Noviki Studio, also young designers who, are, uh, who has an uh, artistic background, but they, they love uh, use and change the form, and uh, they are searching for their own language. Um, on the other hand, there is a kind of nostalgia to the 60s, the style where people are use, were using pens and and, uh, and, and pencils, uh, so young designers try to imitate or develop the language of that time and propose their own uh, posters, uh, not only. Um, this is the poster we designed together with one of the uh, artists um, as a poster for, for the exhibition which we presented in uh, Bruxelles and Brussels uh, in uh, Bazaar, and uh, it was uh, it's a nice coincidence that Belgium is the special guest for this uh, BODW. Uh, when we started to work on that exhibition, we didn't know about it, but it's nice coincidence. And uh, we show in the center of fine arts called Bazaar. We showed the, um, our selection, individual selection of the uh, posters uh, from the last few years which are showing uh, the new trends, the new way, we think, in, uh, in Polish uh, poster design. It's, uh, it's uh, just start, so we don't know, want to name it as, a, for example, second Polish uh, poster school or something like that. No, but we see something, uh, something new. Something interesting that people are uh, looking for the analog tools. They are looking for collage, for, for, for using of a paint or uh, image, which is very strong. And uh, you, you can see there that there is a lot of um, experimentation with the form. Uh, they are not afraid of, uh, you know, uh, subjects, uh, sexuality or whatever. They are playing with the typography as well. There are quite many uh, strictly typographic posters now. Okay. Uh, this is posters we designed for, for the exhibition Ion Poland, which we uh, curated uh, uh, three years ago in Shanghai. And uh, it was a presentation of Polish graphic design, contemporary one. And uh, we were invited uh, by uh, university in Shanghai. And Adam Miskiewicz Institute. Institute. And we started from the gallery, University Shanghai uh, Gallery. So you can see uh, some photos from inside. And the idea was that exhibition uh, uh, should stay in China, and uh, it, it, uh, it, it was uh, yeah, it was traveling exhibition. So um, this is the first place. Yeah. Uh, the the second was in Nanjing and uh, in yes. Beijing, uh, but not only posters that you can see. There are there were also books, and uh, this. Uh, uh, topic is also very interesting for Polish designers. There is a lot of experimentation with the form, with the minimalism and uh, with uh, also uh, content. We are, showing, we are showing only just a few samples. Like this encyclopedia uh, Polish psychedelic. So the topic is also interesting. Yeah, but uh, another interesting topic which uh, we chosen to, to introduce to you is uh, mm, works of young designers who are, as we mentioned before, trying to use uh, analog tools. And uh, very successfully, there are several books, especially for children, which are invented, written, and also drawn by young illustrators, designers. This is a series of books, uh, this one about design, with pictures of different uh, chairs and uh, legends uh, of design. This is about art. Uh, 
this one is written by a curator of modern art, but illustrated by young designers, with illustration explaining difficult art objects uh, like uh, mm, concrete music uh, by, Performances by, by and John Cage. And so on. Yeah. Books for children. And uh, one of the most interesting the books is the book called Maps. And uh, everything is drawn inside. You can see, for example, our country. And uh, there's no, not only borders, and, but they are also drawn every char characteristic uh, symbols of our country from fauna, flora, uh, typical uh, Polish dishes. dishes, and so on. And uh, this is the from photo from, picture from the London premiere of the book. And uh, book is uh, well uh, is uh, sell, sell, is sells very well uh, all over the world. Another book about the little girl and her box. Uh, it's also interesting that uh, many of the art illustrator, uh, illustrators uh, they are also the writers. So uh, they are responsible for the whole book. They are writing and also the, uh, the making the illustration. So they are the authors, we can say. So some, some of these books you can have in your hands, uh, the exhibition must have, which is uh, nearby. Yeah. So you can have a look and see uh, how, how it's inside. Uh, finally, we would like to show some works uh, very briefly. Uh, which is inspired by the past, but not the past of our ancestors, but the past from the, uh, from the 60s, uh, from the 70s, 80s, where Poland was a country, as I said, grey, greyish, uh, with no goods, uh, with no advertising at all, because you don't need to ad advertise anything if you cannot buy it. Uh, and young artists, designers are trying to incorporate to uh, brand, uh, um, fashion brands, ideas, lettering uh, from, uh, from that time. Sometimes very funny, uh, old uh, doll from the 80s, let's say, uh, or uh, drawings from their books from the childhood, and or just yeah. simple lettering. And what is interesting, the, the, uh, that designs, that clothes and so on are very popular uh, among the young uh, generation, which didn't remember that times, but they love it. <laughs> and uh, a big success, a mug, which is from, uh, from 70s, uh, produced today with the logos designed by young designers. This whole series... Finally, we have a few minutes to, to <laughs> say something about uh, ourselves, and uh, we would like to um, give uh, the, uh, or to, to, to show you the answer which uh, Charles Eames gave to the question, what, what is design? And uh, if he was asked if it's general expression, he uh, said, no, it's a method of action. This is, um, this is the way of we think as well. Uh, we design for institutions, cultural institutions, for museums, for, as for this one, a Museum of Modern Art in Warsaw. This is annual report. Um, we cooperate galleries, um, we made identities of um, uh, exhibitions. So this is the one of the uh, Our last catalogue last catalog yeah. for National Gallery of, uh, Gallery of Art. Of mm -hmm. Art. Uh, so we are also searching for new language, but um, like here for the lecture of Irma Bohm, which, which we have seen on on the and uh, which previous. we organized also yeah. some years ago mm. in Warsaw. Sometimes we want to express our also statement, like for the, with this poster of, for the 50 uh, anniversary of, of Helvetica, Helvetica typeface. So, and this is a book which we wrote. So about not only design, but we also are very keen on writing. Yeah, about the precursor of the functional typography, Henrik Berlevi. And this is our uh, project from the series, which we called uh, Designs from Future. So we um, designed it in 2010. We designed the summer cover for the New York magazine for 2015. It's Cabinet magazine. It was uh, f uh, for the exhibition. He, here you can see the happy curator of this. <laughs> 
And this is the invitation, this is the key for the exhibition. So when you have the invitation, you go for our exhibition and you, send, you see a series of the, the same cover. Uh, it, this is the cover from the invitation, but we made a research and we designed the, the same cover in different versions which uh, are compatible to how different species see the, this cover. So, you can see how the sea discovers honeybee. Can you see the perceive? Uh, this is how fly. the shrimp can, could be see the cover if <laughs> so, she has seen it. And the snake. And, and the snake. So, different visions, different way of you using uh, eyes, different eyes, sometimes very um, uh, small or uh, simple, and sometimes even more uh, then we can, uh, bigger observe. than yeah. ourselves. So, uh, after this, we have the possibility to make a performance and to show, to show the real shark in the Warsaw Zoo, one of the covers, of course, that one for the sharks. So, so you, can, you can see there is a rectangle no, no. Uh, near the, the stone. This is the cover which was, uh, which was uh, put it down to the aquarium. And the last project is a project which was made by Magda. Uh, I was invited for, to, make, uh, to make, take a part in the action in the forest near Warsaw. Uh, they asked, uh, one foundation asked uh, designers and artists to make something in the forest for the public. And I decided to make an uh, arts gallery for ants. So I made uh, the construction which uh, don't ingrate into the structure of the tree. And I made some um, uh, little copies just for ants and also for the public uh, of the well-known um, uh, artworks and add something from myself. And uh, here you can... And invited uh, ants. And invited course. ants and may, I made also a poster uh, for them. So very co economical format. Now it's in collection of Poster Museum in Vilano. In Warsaw. <laughs> So uh, you can see the scale here, it's like it's two a real, centimeters. It's, it's, it's a real poster. Um, you would like to finish with the sentence of uh, Karel Martens, the uh, Dutch designer, uh, who said that uh, design answers given questions. And the question, uh, the, and the answer is in the question. And we strongly believe that uh, graphic designers are not only for solving uh, problems, visual problems, that nowadays we have to um, create our own messages as a designers. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Madalina and uh, Arta, for bringing wonderful Polish design to Hong Kong. Thank you. Uh, we have time for two questions. Uh, anyone has a question? Just uh, thinking, it's just a bit curious about um, how you said the modern, uh, the contemporary movie posters are straight from America. Yeah. I'm just wondering how is the industry in Poland, the design industry, is it quite separated in graphic design and advertising? It, it, and the approaches are quite different? It depends on strategy of designer. Some of designer are doing both and they are think with this good and they are prospering also good, some of them dividing. For example, we don't uh, cooperate with advertising agencies because we have a very special um, area of our interests. So the approaches are very So it's indiv very yeah. individual. Yeah, yeah. and it's a, it's a question of uh, what you are interested in. Yeah. And of course, uh, if we are talking about movie posters, it's very tough because, yeah. as I said before, if uh, there is a new film, usually, uh, there is a poster which was made, yeah. designed by American uh, artists abroad, so it's brought here and the title is changed and that's all. Yeah, right. And it's totally different that you Do can, people accept it quite readily or...? Uh, they, they don't have choice. I mean, <laughs> okay. they don't like it, but uh, as people say, it sells. Right. Yeah. yeah, because it seems that you have a very strong tradition for using metaphorical images or yes, very bold true. graphics, very not representational, literal kind of images. Uh, what, how did that come about? Because the, you, you're saying the artists started to become poster designers. 
Yeah. How did they develop this graphic kind of a approach, a metaphorical okay. approach? Yeah, that's, yeah. It, was it in paintings? Before? Yeah, I think well, it was uh, because of several um, elements. Right. First of all, uh, the 50s, 60s, it was very politically, very hard time. So they tried to find their own uh, path of freedom and in expression, artistic in expression. Right. On and the they, other and hand... And they receive it. And they receive the, it yeah, from very well. Yeah. On the other hand, you, d you don't have possibility to, to work as a commercial artist mm, because right. there was no goods to sell. Right, yes, I see. <laughs> yeah, so you, see, know, you don't yes. have a choice, yeah. <laughs> right, I see. let's say. But on okay. the other hand, they were very talented people, yeah. uh, people who um, uh, thought that uh, art can be seen also on the streets. Yeah. You right. don't have to go to gallery. Right. You can yeah. just walk on the street and see the art, the yeah. real art. So the designers really had their own kind of messages and voice yeah. already. Yeah, yeah for Definitely, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe with anyone? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. <laughs>